Hey guys, Toaster Bath for One Hive Labs, bringing you another cold-blooded Lalo attack. This one's done by Andrew. So he's got the one golem in his clan castle, four hounds, 16 balloons, five wizards, lightning spell for the enemy clan castle, and a jump spell to get in, two rage for the Lalo portion of the attack. We'll do a quick talk here about why he didn't go with a shattered. And basically, when you do these attacks, you got to look at what your kill squad, your heroes, your wizards have to get through. Whether or not you need wall breakers, that takes away from your troops. So even with the two golems tanking, let's say here and here, they still have to get through all these high hit point storages. Assuming you brought uh, some wall breakers to get through uh, in this level, jump spell here so that your golems pull in this way. Um, that's a lot for a few wizards, let's say six or seven wizards, and your king and queen to realistically take out. They got to throw out a lot of DPS. You're still using at least two wizards to create your funnel. And then once they finally get in here, you're hoping that they get at least this one. And this one over here would be a toss up. Your queen is going to have to be beaten through the clan castle, which has a lot of hit points. And the amount of stuff as your troops push in that start targeting your golems basically just increases so game plan for this base was a single golem and the responsibility for the wizards and his heroes was basically just this so golem goes down and wizards back that up start creating this funnel queen goes down and then jump spell right in this area here golem's gonna hop the wall once the clan castle starts coming out, he drops his barb king down. Lightning spell for the clan castle right in this area. And by the time it's all said and done, most of these buildings are all dead. He ends up getting the expo. Lalo portion of the attack comes in. And you can see he's basically done it so that it comes around clockwise in that fashion. Two hounds on this first air defense here. Balloons couple on each defense to back it up two more hounds in this area here and you'll see again a couple more balloons to each defense getting everything pushing in that um, clockwise motion around the base this archer tower is kind of pesky uh, lasts until the end of the attack basically it's the last defense to go down but has plenty of balloons by the time they end up over here to push in to the core to get that last air defense. And one thing else to note on these attacks is we typically save uh, two to four balloons for the back sides of these bases, which he does. I think he ends up sending two here and uh, one or two right there on that cannon. So that's always a good thing to do. Um, that's the breakdown. We'll keep talking more about um, why these are either shattered or cold-blooded La Luna attacks in future videos, so stay tuned for that. We'll jump into the replay now and talk about a little bit more. Alright, so here he goes with the attack. Golem goes down to start tanking, and you'll see only two defenses are targeting it, so that golem's going to stay up for quite some time. Wizards are all down now, creates a wide funnel. Archer Queen goes down to start taking out some of those defenses. Jump spell to let the golem in, and then the king goes down right after that. Lightning on the clan castle, uh, besides taking out the witch and the wizard, kind of ineffective with the two balloons in there, but taking out the witch was key. Uses the king's ability pretty early there to take out the enemy archer queen, and the first air defense goes down. So the mission's accomplished, gets the first air defense down. Anything else at this point is pretty much a bonus. He's going to end up getting the expo, but the Lalo portion of his attacks already started. He's created the pathing for the balloons. Unfortunately, that one archer tower in the core is going to stay up. It ends up not making a difference, though. Next two hounds go down. And saves a few balloons here on the backside for the archer tower that stays up and then those cannons. But still has plenty of health there on that last hound. And those balloons pushing around are going to get to the last air defense and take it out just in time. So last hound pops. 
Wizard Tower turns around and starts targeting those balloons, which is good. Pups stay up to help with cleanup. And right there, all the balloons are going to push into the core, which I think ends up helping them out in the long run, just because they end up taking out the Town Hall and the enemy Clan Castle, which both are high hit point buildings. So it works out. So nice job, Andrew. Three-star, cold-blooded Lalo attack. If you guys did like the new breakdown style where I explained the uh, trade-offs of a Shattered and a uh, Cold-Blooded Lalo, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, hit the little thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And then remember, as always, check out the links in the description below. See you guys later.